Okay, so our goal here is to place three, these three values on this number line. And even before we turn these into decimals or useful ways of thinking about this, let's look at our, at our number line. Here, notice that we, we cut from 0 to 1 into two parts. Now, what does that mean? Well, it means that we have three segments in between 0 and 1, so each one is about a third. So here, this is a third, right? This is two-thirds, and one is three-thirds. Then we have one and one-third, and one and two-thirds, and then, of course, two, right, and three-thirds. So, or one and three-thirds, excuse me, or two. Then we keep going, two and a third, and two and two-thirds. So, so how does this help me? Well, it reminds me that 2.1, of course, should be where? Well, 0.1 is 10, right? So it should be a little bit above 2. So about here. That's where I put 2.1. Okay, I got that one. Two more to go. Well, 7 eighths, right? Isn't that less than 1? It's pretty close to 1. If you think about the 8 parts of 1, it's certainly above 2 thirds. 7 eighths might be about here, right? And we don't even need the exact decimal conversion. Now, the square root of 3 is between 1 and 2, right? So it's somewhere in here. And if you think about where it might actually be, precisely you can sort of test out combinations. Like if we try 1.5 times 1.5, we realize, oh, that's, that's still too small. So 1.7 times 1.7, that's still too small. Keep going 1.9 times 1.9, and we go a little bit over. So it's about right 1.8. And if you think about where that's going to be, where is that? It's about here. So there's one about, I'll put the square root of 3. And this order seems to make the most sense to me, and, and it's probably the best approximation um, we can make given these constraints. All right, thanks.